So, all right, what's up? Basically, uh, I'm not gonna say basically ever again. I got something recently in the mail. Here it is. Uh, I've had one of these before. This is from Newbie Drone in California. A guy named Ryan Fay. he sends me cool stuff on the regular. This is probably one of the cooler things I have gotten in the mail and I wanna share it with you because I got the first one, I was really happy with it, and now this is apparently even better. I don't keep up with the like super tiny drone like progressions, so when he sent me this, I was like, oh, he sent me another like B-Ductrix, what's different about this one? And then I started to put two and two together. So here is what it is. This is the drone. Uh, it is a tiny, tiny little guy with FPV capabilities. It has a bee brain on it. It is taken from the Inductrix, which is a tiny little drone that Horizon Hobby makes, and it is modified, and many people have claimed to uh, call it what they will, Tiny Whoop, Bee Ductrix, you know, all those things. So, in a nutshell, it is an Inductrix frame with a B brain flight controller, which is a beta flight compatible flight controller that has brushed ESCs all inside, and it has this freaking awesome little video transmitting thing on here with that case. I'm I was so tired of the 3D printed cases. This is lighter and much stronger. Doesn't break. The camera doesn't fall out when you uh, when you crash. It's got a linear antenna on there. They call that the Stinger Cam, so it doesn't break your CP, your circular polarized antenna anymore, and. It's just lighter, like in general this thing is very light. And I think the one main factor that's different about this one, I mean this thing is fairly new, the, the camera pod and whatnot, making it a little bit lighter and stronger, less, less susceptible to like breaking your camera when you crash. But the one thing that I do see that is different is this. Now, what is that, you ask? It is a larger battery connector. And I've actually heard rumors and I've seen people with like the older battery connectors and they're a lot smaller and they don't actually allow as much current as these little tiny brush motors can take. Uh, so you do, you're not getting the performance you actually would. And with that being said, let's talk about the motors. If you'll notice, these are gold. They've sent me three different types of motors with this thing. The ones that are on it are these, the gold edition uh, BDR73. And I think these are like the premium ones. These are like the highest number. I'm assuming highest number means premium. I'm assuming the 73 stands for 73,000 KV. I don't know that for certain, but you know, I'm gonna make an educated guess. And then they have the black ones and the silver ones, they kind of go down in KV based on the color. So black is kind of the middle one, which is the 6,500, or sorry, 65,000 or 65. And then the BDR55, which I'm, say, I'm assuming again is standing for 55,000. I, like I said, I don't know this for, for certain, but I do love the packaging. Comes in this sick little situation right here. You got black, gold, and silver. And they put the gold ones on here, and I'm assuming the gold ones are like the premium top of the line motor. And with brushed motors, you do have to realize that over time they are going to wear out. I am not a huge sticker for changing motors. I honestly don't feel a difference. I, it always kind of flies wonky to me because I'm used to flying big quads. So when I fly a little brushed quad like this, I don't expect the best out of it. And I'm not gonna go out and change all of my brushed motors every two weeks because I've flown so many packs and they've, they've worn out. But however, I will say that I haven't flown this yet. I wanna get my first impressions of this thing on camera. So let's go ahead and set it up and uh, we'll go from there. Oh wait, one last thing. The batteries are bigger. This is the new Nitro Nectar 250 milliamp one cell. Now, it does have a bigger connector. Let's see if I can get that, to, yeah, look at that connector. So it's got a bigger connector, so bigger connector, bigger battery, a little more weight. I'm assuming it's gonna fly a slight slight bit different than the older ones because it was all about being lightweight before, but we have really, really powerful motors and uh, they've kept it light by keeping this little tiny frame and everything actually fits still. That was one of my main concerns. A lot of people were like, hey, these big batteries that people are making for these tiny whoops, they don't even fit. How do you get them to stick underneath there? And this one actually fits in the stock, um, stock mounting place. I just wanted to do a weight comparison because I feel like the newer one is gonna be a little heavier than the uh, the older ones, but we never know, because it's got a lot more power. Let's see, the original with 150 milliamp pack, which is what it flew with, 
24.4 grams. The B-Brain one with the Insane motors with this 1S 210 milliamp. Okay, that one is 25.3 grams. The newer one with the uh, Nitro Nectar 250 milliamp pack is 26.8. So honestly, it's all really, you're just getting a little bit of thicker of a battery. You're not really going up that much weight, but you are going up crazy in power. battery let's see oh my it has so much power it throws the props off oh yeah that's not even full throttle that's like three fourths away look at this oh 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 why 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 do the motors why do the props explode when you touch the ground? Okay, motors aren't flying or props aren't flying off anymore. See if it flies at all without slinging a prop. Oh yeah. Ooh, the power. The power. Oh yeah, the roll rate. Oh god. Good. Without air mode on it actually didn't. Oh my god! Oh yeah, that fucking, oh, yeah, son, oh, oh, this is sick, so much power. Let's see what the fail safe is. Okay, we're good. Okay, I think it's time for FPV. We've gotten all the stuff on there. It doesn't seem to be throwing uh, props anymore. Let's shred it. Super powerful. The new battery size is allowing for more punch and 
I don't know about longer battery life, but it is definitely something that I will pursue further rather than the other one where I just got bored. Because this thing actually flies like a mini quad. It, it handles, it still doesn't act like right in a yaw sense. Because all these things, these brushed quads, they just don't have that kind of yaw authority or that. <laughs> They don't, they don't have anything um, powerful enough as far as yaw is concerned to really get the thing to do and not fall out of it, fall on its face if you do something really hard, like a hard maneuver or a hard stop or something. But at the same time, it is really fun to fly in a really tight spot and not have to worry about killing anything because the thing only weighs like 25 grams. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about the gear that I use in this video, it'll be linked in the description below. And also every other piece of gear that I use, including the camera I'm using right now, the RX100, and every single piece of gear on my quads that I use on a regular basis is listed in there as well. So you can check that out if you have any interests. Back there, sipping on some scissors.